Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over two problems. We're going to calculate the input force and the uh, input distance for simple machines, and specifically, as you can see, for pulleys. Let's get started. Here's our simple pulley. We're going to use this as our machine. We have uh, the upper pulley. We have the lower pulley. We have the object that we're going to raise. We're going to raise it from here to here. The weight of the object we call the output force. Of course, the distance we raise it is the output distance. The distance we have to put into the machine to raise it that much is called the input distance, and the force we put in is the input force. Okay, so let's go through project, excuse me, project. Um, problem number one, we have an object. We want to, and the object weighs 100 newtons. How much force do we have to apply to the string to raise the object that has a weight of 100 newtons? So let's just think, what have we been given? Well, we've been given the weight of the object. The weight is also known as the output force. So we know the output force. Okay, those two are equal to each other, the weight and the output force, the same thing. Okay, and we want to know how much force we have to apply. That means that is the input force. So we have this object, which weighs 100 newtons, and we want to know how much force do we have to apply. Now, the other thing we can do really quickly, because it's a pulley and it's relatively easy to do, as we talked about in the previous video, is we can figure out the mechanical advantage. The mechanical advantage of this pulley system, we're just going to count the strings as they go across. One two, three, four. Simply count the number of strings across the middle, okay? And you can figure out the mechanical advantage. Now, you can also calculate it using the forces or the distances, but since we have the pulley and we have the strings, we just count one, two, three, four, right across. There are four strings supporting that weight, that output force, and that means the mechanical advantage is four. Okay, now we can do the problem. Now, we're going to have to think about our equations. We have the input force and the output force. So we're going to use our mechanical advantage equation that has the forces in it. That means we're going to take the output force and divide it by the input force. That's the one of the equations for the mechanical advantage we talked about in the previous video. We know the output force. We know the mechanical advantage. Therefore, we want to solve what is the force, what force. We want to solve for the IF. That means the IF is equal to the output force divided by the mechanical advantage. This is the equation we're going to use. We put down IF. We can now simply say the output force is 100. Plug that into here. The bottom mechanical advantage is 4. 25, excuse me, 100. 100 divided by 4 is 25. That tells us that in order to raise an object that has a weight an output force of 100 newtons. All we have to do is apply 25 newtons of force to the string, okay? Now, let's just summarize that by this and put down what we know, what we calculated, and see if that makes sense. Think about your thinking. The output force, 100 newtons. We were given that. We figured out the mechanical advantage is 4, and we said, we calculated, we only have to put 25 newtons of force in. Let's see if that makes sense. Now, we said in a previous video, the definition of mechanical advantage is the factor by which the machine multiplies the input force. So we put 25 newtons in, we multiply that by the factor of the mechanical advantage, and we got 100 out. So that makes sense. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's great. I can put less force in and get more force out. That makes my work easier. It does not make your work easier because, as we're going to see in the next slide, we're going to have to apply the input force over a greater distance, and therefore your work will not be easier. Many people say, I use a machine because it makes my work or makes things easier. It does not really make things easier when you think of it from a technical physics sense, which we'll talk about when we talk about work. But in this case, we calculated the input force is 25 newtons. Okay, the next problem. I put down MA4 because we figured that out from the previous slide, but the next problem says you want to raise an object 20 centimeters off the ground. So we want to raise this object 20 centimeters. How far do we have to pull the string? Okay, we want to raise the object 20 centimeters. Well, that is the output distance. How far do we have to pull the string? Well, that's the distance we pull the string. It's called the input distance. So that's the output distance and the input distance. We're given the output distance 20 centimeters. We want to figure out what is the input distance. Now. And we know the MA is 4. We figured that out. We counted the number of strings. Remember? 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we're going to use our distance equation. 
the input distance, no, excuse me, the mechanical advantage is equal to the input distance divided by the output distance. Now, we want to, in this case, solve for the input distance. How far do we have to pull the string? That means the input distance. We know the MA is 4. We know the output distance is 20 centimeters. And therefore, the input distance is equal to the output distance times the MA. We're going to multiply these two together to get the input distance. This is the equation we're going to use. That means the input distance is equal to 20 centimeters because that's what we were told we want to raise the object, the output distance. We know the mechanical advantage is 4. That tells us in order to raise this object, 20 centimeters, we're going to have to pull the string 80 centimeters, four times greater than we actually want to raise it. All right, so now let's just summarize again. The output distance was 20 centimeters. The mechanical advantage is 4. And we figured out that the ID is 80. Okay, now you remember from the previous slide, we put 25 newtons in and got 100 newtons out. We put less force in and got a greater force out. Now this case, you'll notice, in order to raise it 20 centimeters, we have to put greater distance in. We're gonna to have to apply the force over a distance four times as much. So even though the force was 1 fourth, the distance is four times as much. And that tells us that the work is actually the same. And in the next video over work, we're going to talk about and show you how the work is the same, regardless of whether you use the pulley or not. Okay? So simple machines do not make work easier. They do not really make things easier when we talk about it from a specific physics sense. All right? So that was two problems. First, we calculated the force, the input force. And then we calculated the input distance. And I think those are two kind of basic problems that you should be able to do. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment in the comment section below.